Now I know what you're saying. Is it even conceivable that any government branch of the military would use mind control on their own people, on their own soldiers? Why would the RAF even consider doing such a thing? But we also have to understand, we also have to acknowledge the fact that during the height of the Cold War, even though Londoners survived the Blitz, we're talking about a single bomb that can take out literally tens of thousands. A single bomb could devastate an entire city. And it would take a certain individual to be able to be okay with dropping that bomb. So to prevent the pilot or co-pilot from altering course, <coughs> the navigator, to prevent the navigator from leading the bomber to the wrong target, or the bombardier to simply not want to drop that precious cargo. Maybe the military came up with another method, one that involved listening to subliminal messages and breathing in chemically induced gas that would make one better receptive to those messages. So before you even turn around and say, this is nothing but a work of fiction, try to remember that all the experiments that the military had done, Agent Orange, coating, lacing the area with LSD to see what effect it would have on their soldiers. Of course, not even telling their soldiers what it would happen. Let's not forget the experiments and if not mind control, ESP. So what you really have to ask yourself is, is this a work of fiction? The elaborate imagination of a storyteller. I took the video from a documentary about the Vulcan bombing mission on the Falkland Islands. That's where I got most of my video footage from. And then of course, where it came to the pilot sitting in the ejection seat with a very blank stare on his face. That was from, uh, from the Huntley film archives. Couldn't find the original, but I, it's important to note that that's where I got the source material from. Now, of course, if you like this video, please hit like. And of course, hit that subscribe. I can always use all the subscribers I can get. And of course, if you want, you could always donate to my channel, and that would definitely help me out a lot. It's up to you, but you decide. I'm Mark Stice. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.